What's up, Stogie Geeks listeners? Joe Hosemper here, a.k.a. Joe Hollywood, a.k.a. The Italian Stanley, telling you about a little giveaway that we have going on. We've teamed up with our sponsor, J.C. Newman, this year to give back to the Stogie Geeks listener. They've been such an awesome partner so far. They've decided to give away one Diamond Crown Humidor per quarter to the winner that they choose. All you got to do is log on to stogiegeeks.com forward slash Diamond Crown. Click on the Enter to Win button. It's really that easy. So if you're smart and you want an awesome humidor for your home collection, go to our website, stogiegeeks.com. Find that banner ad right on top. Click on it and register to win that humidor. Good luck. Welcome back to episode 306 of Stogie Geeks. I am your host, Joe Hosemper. It is time for the six of the week. But before we do that, I just want to introduce Placencia Cigars to the show. They are now a partner with us here at Stogie Geeks. Placencia Cigars is one of the world's leading growers of first-class tobacco. They have been pioneers in the industry since 1865, five generations of the Placencia family have continued in the legacy over in Nicaragua and Honduras. Today, the Placencia family's very own cigar line, led by CEO and master blender Nesta Placencia, produces over 40 million handmade cigars each year. Placencia Cigars celebrates their Nicaraguan roots through their premium Alma series, inclusive of complex blends, the Alma Fuerte, the Alma del Campo, and the newest release, the Alma del Fuego. Each harvested in the pure soils of Nicaragua. If you want to find out more about Placencia Cigars, all you have to do is go to stogiegeeks.com, click on the banner ad at the top. You can find a retailer near you and definitely check them out. I'm super excited personally to have them on as I am a fan of the uh, Placencia line for sure. And for you Story Geeks listener who wants to hear a fascinating interview, type in Placencia. And I had the opportunity and the privilege and the honor to interview Nessa Placencia, and that was a super awesome interview as well. So uh, Placencia Cigars, thank you very much for joining uh, Story Geeks. And we have a live via Zoom meeting. We have Drew and Brenda is sticking around for Sticks of the Week. Ladies first. Brenda, would you like to discuss a stick that you kind of go to? Oh, now y'all already had stuff planned out. (laughs) (laughs) I gave you one. I didn't have any preparation on this. Come on. (laughs) If you don't want to go ladies first, that's fine. I'm coming back to you then. (laughs) Yeah. No, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, Drew, what have you been smoking? Or can I pick it first? Yeah, go for it. I want to go with the Big Poppy because the Yankees clinched the division. Right. You know, (laughs) and I got a lot of Angel fans in my family. And so the the S talking hasn't started yet, but I'm pretty sure that 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 loss put that to rest. (laughs) So Big Poppy, uh, let me get to my... Let me get to my chair, my telephone. You have electronic notes now? You have electronic yes. notes? Wow. Look at this. Sure. Yes, I do. It's only been week so, four, and here you are. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'm working. I'm getting it done. So, uh, big poppy. Here we go. So, uh, well, I thought here we go. Hold on one second. Okay. Where'd it go? Sorry about this. Where'd it go? My doctor is terrible. Well, actually, my cell phone. Okay, you find the big poppy. I'm jumping in. I had yeah. the Brick House Traveler. The Brick House Traveler is a product from our sponsors, J.C. Newman Cigars. Full disclosure. Uh, the size is a six and one eighth by forty eight. The wrapper is a Nicar or, or is from Nicaragua. Nic- Nicaragua. Whoa, Bloody Mary's going good. Wrapper binder <laughs> filler are from Nicaragua. Um, the strength is a medium. Uh, I've I've always been a fan uh, of the Brick House. Super fan of their marketing. Um, when they first started, it was give us five dollars and a comfortable chair. Uh, I've mentioned that previously on <laughs> some of the other shows. Super fan of the marketing of that. 
stick. Super fan of that stick. It's a great stick to introduce a new smoker to. Um, it's also a great stick uh, for your friends that really um, don't really uh, are not as fanatical as cigars uh, as you are. Uh, it won't kill them. It's great. It's ultra tasty. I get a little bit of cocoa from there. I get a little bit of nut from there. Nicaraguan spice. The the to me, it's all in the retro hail. If you're really trying to seek out that flavor, uh, for sure. But in regards to that, I mean, you can't beat the price. Has to be box split for sure. That is the Nicaraguan Traveler, and yeah. it's available in tubes. So it's a great stick to take to a wedding. Um, mm. If you're outside, you put it on the inside pocket. You don't got to worry about you know it getting all dented or frayed or whichever because of the uh, delicacy of the cigar. Um, if you find yourself, uh, ah. check out Brickhouse. They're a super cool brand uh, at a super cool price, and you won't be disappointed. Awesome. Do you find your big pop? I'm going to jump into big. Oh, yeah. I'm going to jump into it. So, first of all, I want to say, Ortiz, I hope you're recovering well. I know that, you know, that situation uh, probably threw a curveball at you, but hey, you got a lot of those from the Yankees back in the day. Here we go. Big Poppy by David Ortiz and Arturista Cigars. I had a 6x54, uh, the rapper's Ecuadorian Habano Claro. Uh, the vendor, Dominican Carrillo, 98, and filler, Dominican and Nicaraguan. Uh, the notes, uh, the taste notes I got from this were, uh, in the first uh, third, were uh, uh, earthy and a sweet, dark chocolate. Uh, kind of tasted that throughout the, throughout the first third of it. Uh, then I went into the uh, retro hail for additional flavors. So the additional flavors I got out of that was a coffee. Uh, it was toasty. Uh, uh, borders light to medium in strength. Uh, my so we gave you that was a fiber. Yep. Uh, this cigar, nice construction, very nice. Uh, the wrapper, when you look at it, uh, very nice construction. The veins were minimal. Uh, to me, uh, this cigar burned very well, burned very even. I didn't have to re touch it up all but once, and that was in my last third because I wanted to taste more uh of that coffee espresso flavor that i was getting uh in um you know the uh the the cold uh draw that i took of it before i lit this cigar up um you know i, I could definitely taste the, the the cocoa coming through uh for me like i said uh good cigar i definitely would rate it a fiver uh, this to go, you could put in your humidor, buy five, put in your humidor and go to it maybe once every other few weeks or month or whatever your smoking repertoire is. Uh, but definitely a pretty good cigar. I was, I was, I was impressed with this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I reviewed the big, the, the big poppy when it first came out here. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I thought it was okay. Uh, there, uh, I certainly didn't like the size, uh, packaging mm -hmm. was super cool. Um, there, yeah. um, you know, I tried to be unbiased as, as, a, as, a, as a diehard Yankee fan, um, and, and, <laughs> and given the Gary Sheffield with Rocky Patel, a better review had nothing to do with the Yankees at all. But, um, I, at, at that time <laughs> when I had that cigar, uh, I thought it needed a little bit of age and to be perfectly yes. candid with you, I, I didn't, I didn't go back to it. Uh, I, I'd, I'd agree. I did give it a five, uh, a, a, uh, try one on the show. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, I, I, yeah, okay. yeah. I gave it a try one. I wasn't, I wasn't ultimately impressed. Um, and if you go back in the episode, I believe I called it a bunt. So sorry, but <laughs> you know, but I just, you know, I, I tell it how it is and, 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 and there, and you know, I've, I've, I've asked, you know, I have some listeners from different shops that ask me my my opinion on stuff, or some give me their opinion on on some cigars. And um, there are some next door uh, there, so I I might I might, uh -huh. gra I might grab one and uh, you know kind of uh, you know kind of re rekindle it there. But but I, I I can't imagine even with the age on it for for me it going above a fiver either. You know what I mean? 
but at the exactly. time, at yeah, the I time, I did give it a, a uh, try one. Awesome. Go ahead. Hey, let me ask you a question. Yeah. So is 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 Mariano coming out with something, or did yes. I hear something about he's is involved, who involved with uh, is... Mariano Rivera? Oh, Mariano Rivera. I don't know. I I I have mixed feelings about endorsement when it comes to cigars, right? Uh, right. I can tell you as a true Yankee fan. And in a galaxy far away and a long time ago, I had the opportunity to run into Gary Sheffield, Derek Jeter, and Bernie Williams at, oh. Mc, at McFadden's in Baltimore. So, wow. So I'll give you a visual, right? I'll give you a visual. We go to McFadden's, a little Irish chain type thing, right? A little Irish bar, quote unquote, right? And I, we're at the, the, it's called the power plant. It's like a pier. I don't know if you've ever been to, to, to Candom Yards, right? Phenomenal baseball field. Uh, Baltimore is truly the charm city. You get the southern charm with the northern hustle and bustle. Uh, Baltimore, right. it, that whole Candom Yards area is so awesome. If you're if you're not even a fan of the the Orioles, I get it, sure. Um, if your team is playing there, <laughs> make a pilgrimage there. First of all, the stadium is amazing. Oh yeah. Uh, long story painless because I could do an episode on this, right? Uh, we're down at the power plant. <laughs> we're down at the power plant. We have dinner and we're hanging out, and you could smoke cigars after ten, right? So we had a nine o'clock dinner. Ten awesome. o'clock comes. People light up their cigars. It's in Baltimore, so the weather's a little bit better here than New York and Rhode Island and Mass, right? So they open up the, the sliding right. glass windows, and we're smoking cigars and hanging. And then all of a sudden, I'm just talking to the people I'm with, right? We all went for, for a guy's weekend. And, like, people started crowding us, right? And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like, like and I wasn't, like, paying attention because I was paying attention to who I was smoking a cigar <laughs> with and enjoying their company. And... Uh, Lo and right. behold, at the table next to us was Bernie Williams, Derek Jeter, and um, Bernie Williams, uh, Derek Jeter. And so I turn around and I'm like, hey, good game. Because we were going to see them, right? I actually went to Baltimore. I said, hey, good, good game. I saw you today. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow over at the matinee. It was a Saturday night. And I says, you want a cigar? And Derek Jeter said no, but Bernie Williams said yes. And Bernie and and, yes. Bernie, and Bernie Williams said yes. So so I I don't really know much about Mariano Rivera's personal life or even other personal life. Like the, the only reason why I know a lot about Bernie Williams' personal life is because as a Yankee fan, number one, I was totally pissed at how they handled his last year. He wanted league minimum. Right. He wanted league league minimum and wanted to retire a Yankee. And the organization said no. I became yeah. I became extremely uh, disappointed at at that. Uh, but I actually followed yeah. Bernie Williams from going to Berkeley College of Music. He's a musician. He's a phen oh, yeah. phenomenal yes. blues guitarist. So he kind of looks yes. like Hootie because he's got his tucked Yankee hat and he's shredding. He kind of looks like Hootie in the Blowfish, right? P uh, playing. For those of you yeah. story geeks listeners who are in your 20s, you might not know who, who, who Hootie and the Blowfish are. Throw them in Google. Anyway, right? So, uh, yeah. you know, so uh, <laughs> Ber Bernie took a cigar and. Um, Derek Jeter didn't, and and uh, you right. know who who knows. So I don't know, but it's pretty easy to get a celebrity endorsement. I've I've heard rumors of that company with the big poppy name and all of that yeah. stuff, and I I'm I'm not I'm not gonna go down that that path. But you know I really have not heard that Mariano Rivera is gonna uh, kick kick off a cigar. Okay, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. Like uh, we we actually uh, uh, at the end of IPCPR, one of the other ones we got was. Uh, Car I'm alone, and we'll talk about that later. But then it's interesting that a lot of these uh, past players are now coming in and you know and and, and having a cigar uh, yep. uh, manufactured around their interest. Uh, even when I was watching the uh, uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame this past uh, this just, just a couple, I think about a month ago, you know, I saw you know some of the inductees that they had the cigars and. And one of my think Reed, he was just talking about, you know, you know, he's happy to get the 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 the, the trophy or not the trophy, but his the honor. But after this, he was going to go cat and have a have his cigars and just relax. That right, cool. right, yeah. I, I mean, I can tell you in my radio life, I, I've done a ton of promotions with Ronnie Lapette of the Patriots, the '86 Patriots. Yeah. 
Uh, I was in a golf tournament oh, with yeah. him. Uh, we totally kicked Steve Grogan's butt uh, in golf. We finished nine under par. <laughs> R- R- nice. Ronnie Ronnie Lepet was a fun- is a phenomenal golfer. And then I actually did a promo, and he jumps out of the car, and he was like, "Joey, he's like, you have cigars." Like, like I know Ronnie was a big cigar guy and stuff like that. So you know, I've I've known a, uh, I've known a few from my radio and 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 television dates and whatnot. But yeah, uh, right. I. You know, it's it's happening. I mean, it's a natural transition, right? If you look at stars or sure. or actors or former NBA players, they're getting into wine and spirits and whatnot. And you know, not for nothing. If if they're really into that, I mean, they're, they're human, right? Who the heck doesn't want to yeah. drink? You know what I mean? Some of them drank sure. and did other stuff while they were playing. You know what I mean? So I mean, you know, <laughs> so you know, if if you got some money to kick around and you want to throw out a line, I know I did a promotion. Uh, in my radio days with George Clooney's te- uh, tequila and whatnot uh, yeah. on, on Cigar Club Radio, I did a tequila and cigar episode and stuff like that. So I, I mean, it's 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 quite possible that if he's into it, yeah. uh, you know, if you're sitting around in retirement and you're watching TV or you're hanging out, maybe uh, he he would get into that. You know what I mean? But you know, awesome. there's also different levels. Oh. Like, are they going to get into it and do the blend, or? Is it going to be, hey, man, we want to produce a cigar, throw your name around it, and then release it? I mean, there's multiple approaches that a company can go for that approach. Uh, Having been in television radio, like, I remember when my pillow sponsored my radio show, like, they gave me a pillow. Right. And I was like, you know, I, I'm the type of, <laughs> like, I'm the type, and, and and I had my own promo code and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm, awesome. I'm the type of person, like, I'm not going to endorse something unless I truly like it, right? right. So for you cigar manufacturers I, I, out there who are listening, and I've never solicited you a, uh, a, a Story Geek sponsorship, probably means because I don't like your stuff, you know? But anyway, moving on, you know. Um, but but that's just me. And 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 I'll tell you, I still use my my pillow. I love that thing. That thing keeps you cool, and that thing is ultra cool. And if you uh, have means to pick it up, go for it, you know. But anyway, um, I'm about to get I'm about to get my wife one of those. Dude, they're, they're pretty sweet. The 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 they're pretty sweet. I mean, and they and they last forever. You throw it in the washer, and and big bang boom. Uh, I had the uh, David P. Ehrlich PLM series uh, from uh, MLB Cigar Ventures. This- Mike Bellity. Yes, yeah. Mike Bellity. Mike's a good friend of mine. I love Mike. Yeah, he's he's a great guy. He he was actually my first um, my first uh, cigar sponsor for uh, Radio. Was Man. he? Yes. He? Oh, yeah. Nice. Because because yeah. he he lives nearby in Massachusetts. The Imperia was named after Newport. Right. My show was in the Providence Metro. It was right. a whole tie-in. Super, super great guy. And 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 it's actually led to the brand awareness for me to actually land here on Stogie Geek. So it's 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 pretty cool. Mike's a good guy. He comes down to Texas. He lives in, yeah. He lives we, it on the ground. Always have a good time. He, he lives it on the ground. Yeah, cigar he shop. <laughs> he, he, no, you know, he, he comes from time to time. No way, man. He he is he's doing very well at the hot spots, Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Texas. You know, he's doing he's he's doing very well. Um, what is it? Don Wiggins, the owner of of Underground, super super yes. cool guy. You know, yes, Don. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, always love to hear the stories uh, Mike tells us and and stuff like that. So yeah. <laughs> We we've had yeah. uh, Mike here on the show multiple times uh, for sure. Um, anyway, this David P. Ehrlich with the PL, the PLM series. It is a Mexican San Andreas Maduro wrapper. Uh, it's a Nicaraguan binder from Esteli, and you have tobaccos in there uh, with the filler. Uh, primary tobacco from uh, Esteli, and um, according to some notes, you do have uh, some from the Dominican. Uh, this is the Maduro version of the original Tremont line for uh, David P. Ehrlich. It's available in one, two, three, four, five different sizes: Churchill, Gordo, Toro, Robusto, and Corona. This particular review, I had the Churchill. It's 7 by 47. I've had it in every single size since it's been launched anyway as 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 a fan of the brand except for Gordo. The 6 by 60 is really not my my cup of tea. 
uh, there. Um, right. I think it's, you know, Barry and Mike did a great job rekindling the David P. Ehrlich name. Uh, you know, it's, it's super cool mm-hmm. stick. Uh, it, it, you know, I get a little bit of saltiness, uh, a really, I don't want to say harsh, um, a really uh, big blast of pepper when you first light it up. You get some good pepper. Uh, after the first inch, it it, it, it kind of mellows out, and you get kind of some really old school Nicaraguan tobacco nuances. There's a spice in there that really, I can't really put my finger on it, but it it really lingers. It kind of lingers on my palate. So if I stopped smoking it and started talking like I was now, like I could like kind of feel that like on your palate. Um, the smoke content mm-hmm. seems to be a little bit thicker. Uh, it's a great burning smoke. If you uh, have means to to chase them down, you won't be disappointed with the uh, David P. Ehrlich, um, either the, the Tremont line or the PLM series. Uh, I've had people who know my history here local with Mike Bellity say that that's the best stick that he's he's made. Uh, it's 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 so good. Um, you know, I tell them that you know they, they've changed factories from when they originally started. And then and then going there, so there's been a little bit of, of, of a change, not change factory within the stick, but change factory from when Bellity started and whatnot. But um, you know, uh, I, I would definitely give it a box split for sure. You know, um, you know, uh, awesome. it, it it's super good. It, yeah, that last PLM I had was great. I posted it for uh, Mike. Um, yeah. I got it from the ground, and I mean, it, it was fantastic. Yeah. Great cigar. Yeah, he, he does very well over at the, at, at the Underground Cigar. And if, have you ever been to an event with him there? Like, uh, like Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I've been to the Waffle House with him at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, he's... he's <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Okay, so... <laughs> we're going to take a quick break. No, no, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Yeah, no. I, all right, so, so your crew. So there you go. I got it. That's crazy how you and I never there met, you, you know? What else you been smoking, Drew? We I go, know, right? We, we got to pick up the pace on this. All right, so I'm going to jump into the Oscar Veladeras Superfly Toro, 6x54. Uh, price point, about 1050 a box of 20 Costs you just a little bit over 200 They also come in the Corona and Super Gordo size. Uh, the cigar origin is Honduras. Strength is about medium, uh, and this is from their site. Uh, the wrapper color Maduro, wrapper Mexican and uh, is Maduro color. Uh, there is Mexican San Andreas Maduro. Uh, the binder Honduras. There's a lot here. A filler Dominican Republic. Uh, a first for Oscar Valderas. Uh, they're handmade, and uh, the taste on this I got uh, for me uh, was sweetness to it. Uh, I'm gonna say right uh, right at the kind of a uh, uh, sweetness to it. The spice that came through was a little bit of cinnamon, so that was pretty interesting mm. uh, to have that transition on the first third. And then I went into the second third with, uh, uh, again, a dark uh, chocolate with an espresso. And the espresso just lingering back there on the back of my palate, retro held it, and then uh, on the, on the you know, I got, got a little bit of, a little bit of pep- uh, peppery um uh, I'm gonna say along the more lines of white, it wasn't as strong, but it was there. Yep. Uh, it was quite evident. It was, uh, and then a little bit on the woody, woody side. Yep. And then to finish this off, uh, black pepper came through a little bit more on the retro hell, and then from there, uh, the trend, uh, the transitions throughout the cigar are modest. Uh, the aromas are great. Uh, my Stogie Geeks rating on this one was going to be a try one. Uh, really? The band was beautiful. You know, yeah, I'm gonna. You know, it, 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 I, I, I guess because like a really full bodied cigar, it was for me. It wasn't a. I didn't think it was medium. I think it was more of a light on the lighter side, just underneath the medium. Yep. But that was, was just my palate. It could have been that medium. day. I had one. But, mm-hmm. but for me, uh, yeah, it just felt that way. And for me, I, I, I definitely give it a try. A try one. Really? Uh, I think. With aging a little bit, uh, uh, it'll it'll definitely trends in, uh, transition in uh, a medium. Yep. Uh, the one I got probably was just, you know, really, I guess. I, I, I don't even know how to describe it. 
Yeah. Uh, what were you saying? Well, actually, I've, I, I've I, had one of them. I'd say it's a medium, but I, I would want to wait and let it age a little bit. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. I, I like the one that I have. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Joe? I, I I agree with your description, spot on. Right, you you get that white pepper. Um, it's it's all in the retro hail with that cigar, in my opinion. I agree with 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 your de, with your description. Your your rating is your rating. I get it. My note to the Stogie Geek listener would be when you see that cigar and you can get past the super cool retro marketing, right? Because I think it's yes. super crew. Like, like that cigar, no pun intended, it's groovy, right? That cigar is groovy. It I is. look at that cigar, yeah. and, like, I want to tap my feet. I want to move my hands. I want to dance in the humidor. That cigar makes me want to groove, makes me say, man, we need more people like, like, like John Travolta in our lives. You know what I mean? I'm talking right. grease. I'm talking grease and the boogie fever, John Travolta. Not, not like the weirdos. They all turn in when they stop flying planes and all that stuff, right? Like we, 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 we need, we need, like, like it, it makes me want to move, right? And I can attest right. that. I can attest that because our producer Johnny, um, when I open some of my humidors or they just go through them, Johnny pulls it out. It was either yesterday. Right. It was either yesterday or it was it was it was Wednesday. I know it was this week. And he goes, what's this? He goes, this label is so cool. I'm like, I know, right? He, I'm like, it's super cool, right? right. Uh, Johnny, I know you're listening. That was the, the prep. Yeah, the Superfly, right? Yep, absolutely. Okay, he says it was yesterday, right? So it's a blur here at Security Weekly. So well, right. now he thinks it's Wednesday. That's the blur, right? <laughs> When 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 you're doing yeah. when you're doing seven other versions of Stogie Geeks that are on a security level, you you get a little wonky, right? So anyway, um, so you know, the, once I got past the marketing for the Stogie Geeks listener, you're gonna look at that and you're gonna say, "Oh my God, this cigar looks jet black. This cigar is gonna be super strong." Yeah. It's really not super strong. It's okay. it's not super strong. Mm-hmm. I agree with it's with not. with your assessment, Brenda. Total medium, absolutely. Ju- Ju's yeah. assessment, Bailey medium, you know, sure, uh, there, but it's all yeah. in the retro hail. I believe I recently ta- spoke about this cigar. I know it was above try one. I want to say either Fiverr for for me for sure. Yeah, super cool stick. Yeah, um, uh, super cool company as well. Uh, I only know their stuff yeah. from yes. my radio days, so it's three plus years as to when they started out with the Leaf by Oscar and an Island Gym was involved and all that yes. stuff. Yeah, yeah. So oh, uh, yeah. again, um, to me, that cigar shows growth um, and a difference yeah. in their blends, which means, which tells me yeah. that that they're getting into experimental phase, which starts to fascinate me. Yeah. So th- there you go. Yeah, for me, I would still give it a five. Yeah, for me, it, you know, but yeah, yeah. No, I was gonna say for me, I think a little bit more. I think a little bit of La Hero, you know, on that. Uh, it definitely would. It, it definitely would have did something uh, different to that cigar. Yeah. And that was just me kind of doing the, the the research on that cigar. And I thought, okay, after I was done smoking it, I did a research on it. I'm like, yeah, a little bit more La Hero. I think it would have definitely hit that medium spot. Sure. Maybe the age yeah. might 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 make you spike up that rating. You know? Yes, but right, you, I'm gonna have I'm you gonna have Nomi pull me some and put you. Save you some. like to save. <laughs> you like Paul love to save cigars forever and then smoke them five years later. Yeah, I don't. So moving on. <laughs> uh, moving on. Uh, for you listeners at home, I'm about to talk about Davidoff. So we already know where this is going, right? <laughs> uh, Davidoff, Winston Churchill. Okay, when you're ready, I got one to throw out at you too. Okay, okay. I'll be I'll be quick with this one. Um, I found one. Awesome! Go yay! Uh, I had the Davidoff Winston Churchill Late Hour Robusto. Uh, this is available in three different sizes: Late Hour Churchill seven by forty-eight, Late Hour Toro six by fifty-four. I had the Robusto. Uh, which is a 5x52. It's available in boxes of 20. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano uh, Oscuro. The binder is Mexican San Andreas. The filler is Dominican Republic with some Nicaraguan in there from Esteli for sure. Uh, It's super sweet towards the end. Extremely salty and earthy towards the beginning. 
Retro Hail gives you some good pepper. Um, I had this first thing in the morning, even though it said late hour. <laughs> right? I had this first thing in the morning. I've smoked, <laughs> I've smoked this cigar before. I, I, I'm just a fan of the brand for sure. And, um, you know, in, in my opinion, Davidoff is a treat cigar for the, uh, for you Stoy Geek uh, listeners. They tend to be on the kind of higher end uh, there. Uh, I actually purchased these at a really good price in Little Havana last week. And I got my hands on some some, some of those. But uh, the late hour, I mean, it's, uh, I, 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 it, what can I say? It's just, it's a, a Winston Churchill late hour. If you are celebrating something, anything, even just being today, being September 20th, go get yourself a Davidoff late hour. I'm not going to say box worthy because of the price. So I am saying box worthy because of the content and it's super good. But the price could set you back a little bit. So maybe box split with a friend. But whatever your budget is, get uh, you should definitely try this one for sure. Definitely. All right, you have a stick. Let's do it. Ladies choice. All right. So I just wanted to tell you about this one in the up and coming from my area here. It's a group of guys headquarters in Dallas, Texas, and they have a cigar called definition cigars. Mm. So when they do, they say, what is your definition? There you go. I love it. Um, but, they, uh, and you can get them from underground. You can call underground. And they'll ship those out to you. Um, that I have tried is the Nobility, which is uh, their one from Nicaragua. They also have one from the Dominican as well. Mm-hmm. And it comes in, it's a medium to full, the Nobility, which is more along the lines that I like. They have a Torpedo, Box Press Torpedo, Churchill, and a Robusto. Really nice little, I have like a paper band. And I don't want to say it's a ribbon. It's kind of, it, it, people wear it on their finger. Mm-hmm. It's like a little ring that you can put on. Um, but it's, they're really great guys and they have, uh, really started to expand in the Texas market. There is our art blowing smoke, Kenoma, uh, Lasoa, tobacco, cabana and, uh, underground. And they've also, um, gotten out into some shops in Georgia, Louisiana, and Arkansas. One of the owners, Neo, he is a distinguished ruffian. So I had to tie in as well. Awesome. But it's a good cigar. You should really, you should try it. Sure. Definition ours. Brenda, I'm going to task you with getting them on the show. How about that? We can do that. Yeah. That's easy. Yeah. They're right here. Shoot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. He can either meet you over Prestige, and if you want to jump in or or j- just coordinate that with, with Drew. It's funny because I'm looking at yeah, – We can do that. I'm looking at the site as you said it and gone, mm-hmm. and I've seen pictures. I've seen pictures of them too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we 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 can coordinate that off air and 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 definitely get him on for sure. It'd be good to to yeah, to, to, hear, do that, to hear for his, sure. Yep, to hear his perspective. So, what would be now? Okay, um, what would be your rating now? Uh, I'll just briefly go through the way, oh. our, our rating system. You ready? You ready? Um, yes. Lawn All mulch, right. lawn mulch, which you would crumple it up and right. Angler, which means if you were fishing okay. and it really sucked, you'd. Uh, try one, which speaks for itself. Fiverr, you'd buy five. You know what I mean. Uh, box split, box split with a friend. Box worthy. Fight Chuck Norris or Oasis. <laughs> I'm gonna go with box split. Box split. Okay, cool. Yes, box yeah. split. Yep, yep, definitely. Awesome. Yeah. And they're available in boxes of twenty. Looks like on their website. Yeah. You know what? I'd have to look it up. I yep. don't. Remember what their boxes are so yep um yeah so box split so yeah i know underground has them yep yeah awesome yeah underground is super super uh persistent with the up-and-coming small batch stuff um you know i'm the king of boutiques i want to make a i want to make a pilgrimage out there for sure definitely yeah um (laughs) it's it's on my cigar bucket list uh there you know I don't know if an Italian kid from the Northeast can hang out with, with Texans. That might be tough. I'm gonna have hey, to. Hey, get... if Mike Melody can hang out there, you can't. Come on, <laughs> Mike. Mike Melody. Mike Mike Melody is 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 the king. 
over there from what i heard or or right. at least one of the kinks right. you know definitely um definitely the last guy i want to talk about was the one that you brought up last week drew it was the cao flathead v19 uh-huh. yes the CAO Flathead V19, Connecticut Broadly, a rapper, Connecticut Habano, Nicaraguan Filla. It's got a little bit of Dominican Polito in there. Um, it's available in two sizes. It's a second to the initial offering of the Flathead series that CAO had uh, came up with. It's available in a camshaft, which is uh, five and a half by 50 in a carb. Which is a six by sixty. I had the five and a half by fifty. Um, I believe you gave this a a, a, a fiver. My, I didn't check my notes. Uh, <laughs> did, 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 did you give it a fiver last week? I know. I know. I, I know you. So. I, yeah, I know you spoke highly of it. I I I could not. I I I struggled with it. Not not content, yeah. not content. I just was like, whoa. And then when I got past the first inch, I was like, all right, it's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. And then I kept telling myself, it's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. And I just struggled with it. I, I and, right. um, right. you know, I, I, I wouldn't give it a super low rating, but I wouldn't give it a try one either. I would just kind of, I would wait a little bit more before I rekindle it and throw it under, underneath the bus, you know. But I just, there you go. It, it, it just yeah. did, it just did not speak to me at all. I had a full stomach. Thank God I had a full stomach yeah. because if if you smoke, I I, oh, yeah. I I can picture like a newbie cigar person getting into all sorts of trouble <laughs> trying tr- trying to stick. You know what I mean? I got. I could picture yeah. them, so you yeah. know, I don't want to throw them underneath the bus at all because, uh, especially with 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 something new and um, right. something that that you spoke obviously higher than I did on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna vet this out to the Stogie Geek listener. If you had a Cao Flathead V19 and you want to write up a quick description, and you can go to StogieGeeks.com. And uh, see our rating system that's on the right hand side on the bottom of the page. And if you want to flash me an email, Joe H at Geeks.com, I will read your comments online. You can say that Drew is smarter than Joe, Joe is full of crap, or <laughs> I agree with Joe, or whatever you want to say. I will read it online uh, right. there. <laughs> and um, I'm probably going to jump back into this stick in about three or four months. I'm not going to save it, but some somewhere shipped to right. us here. Uh, anyway, um, from, from from the company, yeah. so I'll just you know see see, see if it improved, you know. Okay, there that's you go, cool. and that's fair. I mean, like and, and like we tell all of our listeners, everybody has a different palate. Mm. Maybe for me, I got that one unicorn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, I... and, uh, and and yeah, but for me, it was it was it was something uh, uh, interesting. Uh, and, and yeah, I did give it a fiber. Yep. Uh, the last one I want to, <clears throat> my last one is the block dissident. So I don't know if you had these, Joe, Brenda. Which one? You had these? Which, Not yet. Yeah. Wait, I have to see it. Dissident. I, I know it, of it, but I don't know if I've had that one yet. <laughs> I don't believe I did. No. Okay. So this, uh, <clears throat> again, uh, my research on. And then as the relaunch <clears throat> by Benjamin Holt, yes, uh, turned to James Brown, created a black label company, uh, BLTC, and his Fabrica Oveja Negra Negra in Estelle. Uh, it's a Nicaraguan, uh, Nicaragua to reblend the line, uh, which includes uh, the home, uh, home soapbox and block names. So, uh, history on this cigar. Uh, 2019 Premium Cigar Association trade show had some of the new products to talk about in the case of this cigars as an old brand made new by Benjamin Holt. The original Dismith brand launched in 2018 by Neil Edwards uh, and Jason Webster, who also owned the Humidor Cigar Lounge in Wichita, Kansas. This line was a small, was small, and for all intents and purposes, it went dormant in 2015. So Benjamin, who 
was the sales rep for the boutique uh, Unified, uh, Boutiques Unified, acquired the brand and relaunched it at the trade show this year. So this wrapper is an Ecuadorian Maduro. The binder is Ecuador. Uh, the filler, Nicaraguan and Dominican. Uh, strength on this uh, high uh, or medium to full body. Uh, the taste notes on this was a uh, peppery. Uh, definitely more of the black pepper came through on this one at the beginning. Uh, and then nutty and a little bit of oak. So those were, I, I like those powerful combination that was there <clears throat> that I got from the cigar. Uh, later on, on the second, third, cinnamon aromas, uh, this cigar stayed consistent with the with the initial flavors, uh, the initial notes that I got from it uh, throughout the cigar. So <clears throat> my Stogie Geeks rating on this one is definitely a fiber. And I, I, I think cigar, as it as you go through their, their, their line, uh, you'll find uh, and I haven't been through the other ones yet, but from what I read from other uh, people or what I've received emails from other people who have tried the cigar, they said that the brand itself has is, is definitely uh, matured and become more, um, you know, a player in the industry. So we'll, we'll definitely see. Did you get those when we were at Underground I last did. week? So oh, yeah. um, Underground has a really good sampler that they can put together um, of his whole line. So that's where I saw it at. And I hadn't tried it, but I got someone else to buy it. <laughs> a sampler. So they do have a really good sampler of um, everything with the soapbox. Um, and did it. I love the lightning bolt on it. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at really the notes. Packaging. I'm looking at the notes here. I can tell you that I've never had this cigar. It has virtually no presence here uh, from from my experience just in Rhode Island. I haven't been uh, yeah. traveling uh, outside of Rhode Island other than Florida uh, over the past four months. So, And, you know, it looks like it got released yeah. at this year's IPCPR. So uh, I'm not at liberty yes. to say it's not here in Rhode Island. I just post IPCPR till current date. I just haven't been in enough shops to, to consider tracking it uh, or kind of see it around. Yeah. But, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they don't have a broker working it here and there's a couple of shops that really have it. I'll be on the lookout for it. I made a bookmark for it for, well, me, to, for, for me to yeah, get some. I've know. already acquired you all, the, uh, all their facings and their line, and I'll be – Sending those to you just to, you know, so we can have a little sidebar with that. Yeah. And see where, you know, yeah. So you get, so your rating was a fiver. Yeah, my yep. rating was a fiver. I, I, again, I'm, I'm a full body. I love the, I love the strength. I love the oak, man. Just the way it comes through and the way it wraps together with the sweetness in the second, third, and then come back to that oak. It, it, for me, it's like uh, I wanted more of it. And it could have been just that time of day for me, uh, but yeah, this 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 cigar definitely um, uh, for me was vibrant. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm interested. You, I just wanted to do one more. Sure. You you had the Alec Bradley Gatekeeper Toro. Oh on, yeah. On your list, <laughs> I'm 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 intrigued. Haven't had it at all. Um, yeah, why, why, why don't we just do one, one, one more? Um, because I, I was, I was intrigued about that one, uh, for sure. Uh, just because I have really, yeah. I really haven't had it at all. Okay, uh, definitely uh, with that one there. It's a uh, Alec and Bradley Gatekeeper Toro. Alec and Bradley part of a co collaboration with industry legend Ernest. Ernesto Perez Carrillo. So this was a crap with these guys, uh, with, with Ernesto. Uh, those who know Ernesto, I mean, there's, there's some fabulous uh, cigars out there uh, when he's behind it. Uh, the shape was a Toro, that was an Ecuador Habano, uh, Dominican Republic uh, cigar. Uh, the binder is Nicaraguan <clears throat> uh, filler, excuse me, uh, Dominican and Nicaraguan. Man, you talk about a cigar that for me, I, I, I definitely had a, a box split on this one, but the uh, the earthiness of the uh, of the cigar when you first light it, I mean, just let it burn, let it let it settle in, and then start hitting that cigar. Uh, the seed, the spice, uh, and the spice on this one, I want to say, uh, man, 
it's one of those, like you were saying earlier, you really can't put your mind to it, away, mm-hmm. but it, it, it came through more of a, uh, I want to say a miss, the miss spice, uh, and then the sweetness of cocoa together was just like, man, I mean, I was like, this is awesome. The citrus, uh, for me, it was kind of a bit of a, uh, uh, I want to say kind of a, not orange, but it was just there teetering on that for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and then, uh, and then the full body, uh, definitely, like I said, for me, the full body came through, uh, the, that's the nuttiness of it, the leather and my stoke geeks rating on that one was, was a bottle it. Uh, this cigar, uh, you know, definitely, uh, is one that I can definitely keep in my humidor and just go through a rotation again, uh, probably about once, once every couple months. Yep. Uh, it's definitely, it's definitely an evening cigar for me. Uh, uh, I took it home. I know me saved one for me or a couple of them. Uh, and then from there, uh, it, 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 it was, it was definitely, uh, again, an elegant Bradley, uh, to me, uh, a success. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. I, I, and, and the reason why I asked about that is because that one, and which um, that one, which was the gatekeeper Toro and the I don't know, I'm making it up. It's got a TV in the name. Television's blind mm-hmm. or something like that. Uh, yes, I, I, I'm I'm I don't say I'm chasing them. I'm, if I come across them, I come across them. But right. I, I want to I definitely want to try them. You know what I mean? And, and, and check yeah. them out. But the fact that you right said now. the fact that you gave the gatekeeper a box split really, really kind of pique, piques my interest now more than the TV yes. one. I, I'm, I'm drawing a fart, brain yeah, fart. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not looking it up. Show's almost over. <laughs> I'm out of Bloody Marys. <laughs> I'm out of Bloody Marys, and you know, I got a three o'clock appointment Eastern Standard Time. So, um, yeah, I, I'll, right. I'll, I'll, I'll chase that and, and, and. And find that I'm going up to uh, Queensbury, New York, at uh, Queensbury Tobacco and Pipe, uh, the eighth uh, of October, for their 25th anniversary party. I know they have Alec Bradley over there, so I'll be able to scoop that up. So I'm, I, I'll be able to, yeah. to to do some some shopping over there and 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 stuff like that. Going to their 25th anniversary party, um, super cool. I'm excited about that as well. But yeah. Anyway, um, Brenda, thank you for joining us here on Stogie Geeks, and thank no you, problem. thank you for sticking around, and best of luck with the ambassador, and the five children, and your um, <laughs> and your wildfire uh, cigar society, and the distinguished ruffians. I'm gonna throw them into Google uh, over the weekend and and see what's going on yeah. locally with distinguished ruffians. I think that's. Uh, uh, that's 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 uh, it, it's all it's all great causes, and and I think that you know y- the efforts that you go and 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 bringing multiple groups together for an event um, is is definitely admirable, and I'm sure that the brands that you represent definitely respect your position, and I think it's super cool that you're getting the ladies involved uh, for sure. Because it'll keep all these manufacturers on their toes, because they better start catering to your palates, or else, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So thank you for thank joining you. us here it. on Stogie Geeks, Drew. As always, I'll talk to you over next week, and thank you for being on Stogie Geeks. Stogie Geeks listeners, thank you. Follow Drew and myself. Go to StogieGeeks.com. Three zero six. My link, Brenda's link, and Drew's link is on there. Let's keep the conversation going. We'll see you next time.